Today I'm going to show you how I make homemade bagels. And trust me, once you make them homemade, you will never buy them from the store again. I'm making two different kinds today. So I needed three cups of water at 110 degrees Fahrenheit, four teaspoons salt, eight cups bread flour, two tablespoons brown sugar, one quarter cup honey, five teaspoons active dry yeast, three quarters cup raisins, one teaspoon cinnamon, one egg white, one quarter cup white sugar, and everything bagel seasoning. First thing to get started is to check the temperature of your water. You want it to be around 110 degrees Fahrenheit and not too much warmer. If it's warmer, you will kill your yeast. So take your yeast and stir it in. You want it to dissolve and I usually just grab a fork and stir it in so that it dissolves. And then you'll want to set it aside for five to 10 minutes until the yeast is activated. You'll know the yeast is activated because it will be foamy on the top. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and combine your flour, salt, and brown sugar in a large bowl. And this recipe calls for bread flour, so be sure you're using that bread flour. Add the yeast mixture into your flour mixture. I like to start by stirring with a wooden spoon until most of the flour is moistened. And then you're going to add vanilla at this time as well. Once it's mostly moistened, then I switch over and I start using my hand. And I like to keep one hand on the side of the bowl dry and one to be the wet hand that touches the dough. And this is so that I can use that dry hand to touch the dough and see if it is still very sticky or if it's just tacky, which is what we want. We don't want it to be sticky, so you're seeing me check with my hand. Because I'm making two different kinds, we're going to divide the dough. In this first half, I'm going to add in the raisins for the cinnamon raisin bagels. Go ahead and knead this together for about two minutes until the raisins are evenly distributed throughout the dough. Again, checking the tackiness with my hand. For the other half, I'm going to get a little bit of onion powder. And you're just going to sprinkle that on the area that you're kneading and then knead it directly into the dough. And you'll need to knead the dough for about five minutes. Once you've hit that five minutes, again, it's going to feel tacky, but well pulled together and soft. I'm just checking for elasticity by pressing my finger in and seeing if it springs back. And it is slowly springing back. Spray a bowl with nonstick spray and put a little nonstick on the top and then cover it with a towel and set it aside. For the cinnamon raisin bagels, sprinkle cinnamon and sugar on your kneading surface. I'm just eyeballing this, but it's probably about a quarter cup of sugar and maybe a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then take your dough and use that kneading process to get that incorporated into the dough. Your dough will become a little bit more moist and sticky because of the sugar being added to it, but that's okay. So don't add any extra flour. Pick up as much of that sugar and cinnamon as you can, and you're going to knead this for five minutes, just like the other. Then again, spray the bottom of the bowl nonstick, put the dough in, spray the top a little bit, cover with a towel, and set it aside for 90 minutes. After the rise is complete, punch down the dough. You want to get all of the air and bubbles out of the dough. You'll want to take this time to preheat your oven to 450 degrees and also put a pot of water on to boil. It'll take a little while for those to get going, so doing that now helps multitask. Then divide your dough into eight pieces each. This will make eight bagels. Take each section and use your pinky and thumb to roll the dough into a smooth ball form. Then 
punch a hole with your thumbs in the middle and stretch it out to have that hole be at least two inches. It might feel a little large when you first roll it out like that, but it will shrink up as you set it aside. Do this with all remaining pieces of your dough until they're all done. Then cover it with a towel until your water is ready to boil. We'll do the same with the other dough for the cinnamon raisin bagels. Cut it into eight pieces, divide it, stretch it into those circles, and cover. While our water is getting finished preparing boiling, we're going to add the honey to that water. And then just stir it together. Once it boils, go ahead and put in a few bagels at a time, make sure they can float freely, and boil on one minute per side. Give it a flip, and boil one more minute. Once they're done, pick them up, take them off, and put them back on your parchment paper lined baking sheet. Then you'll want to separate your egg out because you just want the white for this recipe. Add about a tablespoon of water and whisk it together until it's foamy. Use that egg white to brush the top of each bagel. If you're topping your bagel with something, this is going to help that stick. If not, it also just helps it brown. For these, we are going to use that everything bagel seasoning because these will be everything bagels. For the cinnamon raisin bagels, you're just going to give them that brushing of the egg white and you do not have anything to sprinkle on the top of these. Then put them in your oven and bake for 20 minutes. I like to rotate halfway through from top to bottom shelf to make sure they brown evenly. You're looking for that golden brown top. These are absolutely divine and I'm telling you they're pretty easy, they take a little bit of time but I'll never buy store-bought again. These also freeze amazingly. When you thaw them out, they don't feel dry or crusty at all. Please give this one a try. And let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.